This example illustrates how small compressors or pumps can create large vibration and reliability problems on offshore production facilities. We also highlight how structural dynamic analysis is used to fix existing vibration problems or to prevent these problems in the first place during the design phase. This production platform is located in Southeast Asia and has a small fuel gas booster compressor supporting two gas turbines. The 750 horsepower booster compressor had to be shut down due to vibration problems, which in turn prevented operation of the turbines. While at site, Beta collected measurements on the compressor, piping, skid, and platform beams. Note the large six foot main girder beams to the right side of this picture. These beams were thought to provide sufficient stiffness for the small compressor. The measured vibration is over five times the acceptable guideline, and in some locations, the vibration exceeded 10 times the guideline. Vibration has to be reduced or else equipment and piping will fail. This series of animations shows a relative vibration measured at the site. By removing the compressor and motor, we get a better picture of the skid and structural beams. Note the six foot girder beam here in the animation. The question is, how could the small compressor cause the massive girders to vibrate excessively? The answer is that the deck is resonant due to the motion of the production machinery. This problem is called structural resonance and is common on production platforms and FPSOs. To resolve this problem, Beta conducted a structural dynamic analysis. The dynamic analysis evaluates the root cause of the problem and is used to test various solutions. This is one example of a possible solution that includes a truss mounted underneath the scrubber. Many other solutions were tested. The optimal solution for this specific case involved modifying the beams at these two locations, along with additional connections of the skid to the platform. These modifications shift the natural frequency of the deck away from the resonant frequency. In this example, the customer had declined a structural dynamic analysis during the design stage, likely because they did not fully understand the risks associated with structural resonance. The result is a very costly fix while at sea. These common problems can be avoided by having Beta perform a structural dynamic analysis during the design stage, along with the other related vibration studies on the compressor or pump system. For more information on how to mitigate vibration, contact Beta Machinery.